It's disappointing for sure and a little bit shameful. Eridree resident Carrie Arthurs is once again calling for George McDougall High School in that city to be renamed. It's named after Canadian Methodist missionary George McDougall. He's one of the founders of the McDougall Orphanage, which later evolved into the Morley Indian Residential School in 1926. Arthur's son and daughter attend the school. They definitely agree that it should be changed. In 1947, Indian Affairs issued guidelines for the strapping of students because students at the Morley School were beaten on the head. The Eridree High School opened in 1962. The Morley Residential School closed in 1969. Calls for the renaming began in 2020. Spokesperson with Rocky View Schools Tara DeWeird tells City News a report was commissioned in the summer of 2021 by an independent firm to learn about George McDougall and his ties to residential schools. The school board also met with a representative from Stony Nakoda First Nation. DeWeird said the rep from Stony Nakoda Nation shared that the name as well as the church and the land that it sits on is divisive among members of the nation with people on both sides of the issue but the board never received a request for a formal name change. Airdrie resident Kim Cheel is part of a group called Change George Mac High School's name, which made a presentation to the board. It was comprised of Indigenous and non-Indigenous people. I became more vocal about the fact that we had a school that was named after someone who perpetuated these kind of uh, this kind of awful treatment toward Indigenous people, and also that he had nothing to do with Airdrie. So why are we continuing to celebrate a man who has no ties to our community? Stony Nakoda Nation was not available for comment. However, Reverend Tony Snow, a member of the nation, told City News in part, "I'm encouraged." Encouraged by the discussion that potential renaming has made in highlighting the historical record. Rocky View Schools says in 2022 a decision was made not to rename the school, but discussions could continue in the future. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.